Hey there, I wanted to share uh, the editing process for how I'm writing the Learn Gamma lessons. It's kind of interesting and a little bit unique to ClojureScript, I think. So the interesting point is that the documentation is actually embedded inside of the tutorial itself. So I can see all the different lessons, and I see there's no explanation for this lesson yet. The lesson one has a little bit started. So the explanation is a markdown string that's embedded in the source code itself. And as I edit it, I can see it updated, updating live. So for example, this kind of warning here about the pitfalls of WebGL programming, I want to make that a block quote. So I go ahead and save, and I get some live update. And that's kind of useful for, or that's, that's pretty common even in the JavaScript world. Um, but the cool thing is I can actually reference the vars inside of the uh, ClojureScript source itself. So for example, let's say that uh, knowing that programmers tend to only look at images, tables, or code, I want to get the actual code in here as quickly as possible. But I don't want to copy, for example, my main uh, function into the source code, um, and I don't want to have any like preprocessor uh, separates from this. Uh, the cool thing with ClojureScript is that I can actually go in here and say, all right, I want to put in the source code here, so that's empty. I can have a function with the, with the ClojureScript REPL, which actually looks up the source code of a given var and then prints it out to a string. So if I save this, I should see the data is actually in there immediately, which is pretty nice. And if I go up here and I start changing it, and I say, for example, I introduce a new binding, um, then the source code updates. So in this way, I can kind of keep the uh, source code and the tutorials kind of in sync to some degree. There's far less copying and pasting on my, my points um, with just nice references above. And this works pretty well for every tutorial. So every tutorial um, has kind of an explanation string. And if we go into this one, we see that there's no explanation yet. So it's just uh, Try putting in this one's main function, and there we go. So uh, a few things that you can use this for. Uh, it's pretty pretty nice so far. I'm definitely enjoying it. Uh, I'll push this later tonight, and then anyone can kind of come in and start doing uh, pull requests, uh, adding more information both about WebGL and Gamma itself.